Anybody want to be baptized? Anybody want to be baptized? Come on, get baptized. Shit. That damn driven, hasty ass spirit. One of each other side here in this damn cinder block. That damn brick up out of some mud that throw some mud on your ass. <laughs> you damn anti messiah bitch. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 94% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get back to it. Now, hey, you got people up here making videos. King, Pastor Dow. Well, one day I am going to be a king and priest because that's what the most I said. One day you're going to be a king and, be, and priest. I called you King Pastor Dow. That's what I said. Because you have all the resources and luxuries that a king in the Old Testament had. The problem is we not living under the law of Moses anymore. Unlike Ringo TV, I've been consistent with my position on polygyny according to the word of God in Christ Jesus. That sin is incredibly expensive. After the kings of Judah and Israel went into captivity, the Israelites, that is, the law of Moses became a pastime thing. The law of Moses, the law of jealousy, the consecration of virgin and concubine women, it was all a package deal. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning adulterers were to be stoned to death. Promiscuous women, they could be nothing more than a concubine. So all of your wives should have a cumulative body count of zero prior to their union with you. Now, I don't know your personal business. Well, I mean, a lot of your personal business has been put all over these YouTube streets. I mean, your name is being muddied throughout these YouTube streets, including people who once supported you. So I don't know why you're making it like me making the video King Pastor Dow that I'm just trying to expose you. No, I've been on record almost a year ago. I made a video prior to all of this stuff getting exposed. I made a video by the witness of the Holy Spirit of what was going on in your church. Okay, what was going on in your community. Okay, so it's not personal. It's scripture. We know the scriptures say you are supposed to have one wife. So be honest so we can continue calling you King Pastor Dow. Okay, just be honest and come out and say you're a king. Okay, that you're following the Old Testament law, but you're certainly not, not a pastor. Okay, straightway is your kingdom. You see, I have no bone to pick in this fight, and I am not biased. I called Ringo TV reactions ego. TV in actions. Much like you, he's creating his own doctrine and saying, forget about the Messiah because he doesn't know the name of the Messiah. He's now an apologist for that perverted alternative lifestyle, but I don't have time to get into that. And he even admitted that he introduced and influenced you to practice polygyny. So, yes, I nicknamed you King Pastor Dow. Okay, let's keep it 100. You are starting to really give Jim Jones vibes, bro. You're giving Benito Mussolini vibes. You see what I'm saying? You got this virgin auction block. Uh, you're manipulating people's wives, sleeping with their wives, uh, taking their wives and marrying them, marrying their daughters. All this allegedly, okay? You're making king moves, okay? You're taxing your members, taking every other check from their hard-earned labor. I mean, you just another Uncle Sam. You evicting dudes off of the communities. Those are all king moves. Definitely in the kingdom. Man, we're going to be ruling in the world. But as it stands right now, just because somebody say I'm a king. Hey, listen, uh, Pastor Rufus is the one who called my children prince. And you know what's amazing? Why doesn't anybody ever hit this part right here? 
Do y'all know how many years that Pastor Rufus has actually supported Pastor Dow? Said, you can't tell me nothing about Pastor Dow. That's the man of y'all. Um, call my sons. What's up, Prince? How you doing, Prince? I mean, all this stuff. What happened with all that? He will give me so much honor and esteem that it will cause other people to like, well, I mean, he's giving you a lot of accolades. I already addressed that in part one. That's why Rufus is in a dilemma he's in now. He put his trust in man. And Rufus was a part of the problem gassing you up like that. He was just playing the game. That's all he was doing was just playing the game. He understood that your ego is the apple of your eye. And he became a man after your heart. So he could get a taste of some power himself. Now, the mistake he made was deceiving himself that he was not as disposable to you than he really was. And hearing you reminisce on the echoes of his praise, I can see how a host of yes men you perpetually keep in your circle has submitted you ever more in pride. That's why I've nicknamed you now Pastor Proud. Let's go back and hear Rufus. Hear my side. Hear my side. Forget the tears and the emotions and Pastor Corey running around trying to pump people up. Ask me. And see, don't it don't make sense. These brothers know it. But then when there's alts in your heart, what can you do? What can you do? But these people have, these leaders have maliciously misled y'all to believe what they did was justified. And it's not. And not even to have you go from being in grace with, with what the Messiah did for you, shed, shed his blood on the tree for you, right? To pushing you right back under the law. And you ain't under grace no more. And you're going to be judged. I'm telling you. You're silenced. No, y'all ain't listening to that. Right. They will be judged, but so will you if you continue to practice the false doctrine of polygyny. The facade Dowell and his congregates conveyed that they were keeping the law of Moses, particularly the marrying of multiple wives, the concubines, and so on. By the way, I believe under the law of Moses, there were far more women in the communities for every man than King Dow presents in his communities. And you know, the fewer women for men, someone going to be sleeping with another man's wife. Okay. And it's impossible to have a host of virgins suffice for holiness, which is the standard that God has set. Okay. That's the whole point. Keeping the bloodlines pure. You can't uphold the law of jealousy under the law of grace in Christ Jesus. The law of jealousy is a package deal with polygyny. You see what I'm saying? Those women, when they're on their menstrual cycle, have to be consecrated away from the camp. Okay, that was the law of Moses. And obviously, the penalty for adultery was death. So, Pastor Proud, basically, you having someone else's wife, you will be stoned to death under that law. You and Nelly. Now, I also believe that King Dow failed to recruit more Israelite women to participate in this because, again, that's another mark of us Israelites being in captivity. Polygyny requires an overwhelming majority of Israelite women to submit to the law of Moses and its consecrations. Not a remnant that hosts even repentant women, okay? These repentant women, even if they repent, they still have a high body count in their past. And now they just settling down as the third or fourth wife. It don't work like that. Those women have to be virgins. If they're not virgins, then they're concubines, period. You may say, well, isn't that the case uh, the same as just having one wife? No, it's not. Because under the covenant of the law of grace, you're supposed to have one wife. So the husband sanctifies the wife and the wife sanctifies the husband. It's a replicate of the body of Christ, Christ and his bride. Through our repentance, we are justified, but we're sanctified for the shedding of his blood on the cross for our sins. So as Christ gave his life for the church, a man gives his life for one woman. That's the new law of grace. 
All because one man has it out for me with a King Saul spirit. And anybody asking, what's his, what's his spirit? King Saul. That would be the best way to describe it. Go look and see what King Saul had towards David. Now, I'm not David. I'm not saying I'm David. No, 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 no. But look at the intent that King Saul had towards David. That's the same exact thing Pastor Dow has towards me. Now, I'm like Pastor Dow says in some of these videos. I ain't done shit to Pastor Dow, y'all. I've done nothing to Pastor Dow. Not one thing besides love him, serve him, be loyal to him. Right. You were a yes man for a wicked man. Your analysis of King Dow as King Saul reincarnated is spot on. But as for you, you're likened to Nahash, the Ammonite, in 1 Samuel chapter 11. God commanded Saul to utterly destroy them. In your case, past the proud, whom God holds more accountable to be beaten with many stripes for his disobedience, he should have rebuked you and all the yes men according to the word of Christ Jesus. If the shoe was on the other foot, past the proud, let's say if he repented and said it is unlawful for us to do polygyny, then it would have been you, Pastor Corey, and Ego TV calling for Dow to step down. Let's just keep it 100. You see how the devil always pivot and play both sides? As long as you adopt the false teaching of polygyny, you still got doubt spiritually inside of you, Brother Rufus. I mean, I'm just keeping it 100. You're not innocent in this whole ordeal. Because from what I've been hearing, you're still defending the false doctrine that a man can take a divorced woman. And he can take that woman so long as, so long as that woman was married properly. Some foolishness like that. If she was married improperly according to the certificates of marriage under our captivity, then technically she's not married. These dudes are just coming up with all types of foolishness. So how many of your wives have not been married properly that you took from another man or she divorced another man and you took her and married her and then just started multiplying wives, which you're not supposed to do to begin with. So I don't deserve what he's bringing my way. He claims he's doing this for the people. Be careful. Be careful, people. He's trying to protect you people from me. Now, here's the thing. If Pastor Dow believed for all these years that I've been this bad of a person, that I've been manipulating the saints with smooth words and speeches, that's what he's saying I'm doing. I'm concrete. I'm very direct. I ain't smooth at all, in my opinion. Then he's saying that I'm misappropriating funds and I'm taking stuff and hoarding it up for myself. And the saints got nothing. That's what he's saying. If he knew this for years, please justify to me why the Most High could come to Pastor Dow and Elder Becker and tell them, remember Pastor Dow said this, his own words said, a year and a half to two years ago, y'all told him I was a pastor. Mind you, in that time frame, he made me a chief elder. I went from brother to elder to chief elder to now a pastor. How is a man that's wicked, taking advantage of the saints and stealing money from them and misappropriating? I got them eating ramen noodles and I'm eating steak. That's what Brother Vernon said with his ignorant ass. Just got played like a puppet, Brother Vernon. So sad, brother. And I've been here loving you for decades, bro. But how is a man that is that wicked? And pastor said he knew it, remember? I've been seeing this. I've been doing it. I've been seeing it. Why would y'all tell you to make this man a pastor then? Somebody get in the book. Somebody get in this and give me scripture showing where a man was totally wicked and another man of y'all knew, but y'all kept telling that man, promote this man, promote this man, promote this man, promote this man. It's nowhere in the scriptures. And I'm shocked at how messy Pastor Proud has been in this whole dilemma. Now, I don't root for false prophets, but I certainly do marvel at them. The only thing that can explain all this mess is pride. And Pastor Proud wanted to make an example of you, Brother Rufus. And he wanted to show his power in all of Straightway and the public airways of YouTube and Patreon. You know, like how the Most High said he raised up Pharaoh so he could show his power to the Egyptians. The problem with Pastor Proud is he mistakenly thought Ego TV was another yes man. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. But Ringo TV is a double agent. I mean, he just parachutes to the best opportunities that will exalt him as another god. I mean, he parachuted from Creflo Dollar to say great things about Geno Jennings while he had a working relationship with Pastor Proud for nearly seven years. 
They even supported each other on Patreon. And Ringo TV didn't start promoting polygyny until he left Creflo Dollar. Now, I know Creflo Dollar wasn't preaching that. He never preached polygyny. So he just started adopting anything contrary to what the Bible say because he was so disgusted with Creflo Dollar. Rightfully so. Okay, rightfully so. But just because Creflo Dollar is a false prophet don't mean you abandon the faith. I mean, isn't it ironic that you didn't start supporting religion until you left there? I find that very suspicious. Okay. And nevertheless, it doesn't matter when you left or what doctrine you adopted. All that matters is what the words say. But Rufus, at least you'll have the opportunity to recover if you repent and play your cards right. And if you want to know my heart behind it, go back to 2014. I did a, a message called Repent. He made me get up in the pulpit and preach it. He didn't tell me to preach repentance. He just said it's time for you to preach. But he knew what I was going to preach on. And y'all put on me to show the saints how to truly repent by coming with an offering. Go back and look at the message. That was done by the book. I tried to do the same thing to him that he did to me. But I guess since he's king now, I can't do that. I'm being presumptuous and getting out of line. See, when I read this book, y'all, the only person that is unapproachable in this book is a king. And this is why I'm saying is y'all think I'm throwing shots at Pastor Dow. I'm not. The moves and the decisions that he's making, the decrees that he's putting out, they're king moves. And we're at fault because we made him this as a people. We've put him in this position. Right. He's been making king moves at your expense. And I'm glad that you admitted that you were amongst the yes men who created this monster. I'll pray that the Most High keeps you and that this was just a fiery trial because King Dow actually did you a favor because God will hold you accountable for your association with him. And those who watch this, I pray that you are not misled by a false prophet because you don't need to be living in their community to be equally yoked with an enemy of Yah. I always say the devil does not give easy answers. Lord, help us all.